Hey, welcome back to the channel. Did you know that you can easily hook up your Chromebook to a network or Windows share? Well, you can, it's super easy to do, and today I'm gonna to show you how to do it. So let's jump onto the Chromebook. All right, here we are on the Chromebook desktop and we have a network share or a group of network shares that we wanna to connect to. This could be on a NAS, a share on another computer, whatever, but we wanna to connect to it and transfer files back and forth from our Chromebook. So the first thing we need to do is launch the files app. So I have a shortcut down in the bottom here, or you can hit the everything or search key and type in files to launch that right up. Now the first thing is on the left, it shows you the file areas that we already have available. Downloads is just the default downloads directory. Uh, Linux files is because I activated the Linux support. Google Drive is obvious. It's a link out to my Google Drive. But there's nothing that lets us like uh, browse the local network. So we need to add this manually. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to the three dot menu and we're gonna come down to services and then click on SMB file share. SMB is basically the protocol that Windows file shares use. So just remember SMB equals Windows file share. Um, the first thing it does is it goes and kind of scans your network and looks for uh, any shares that are available that you may want to connect to. This is a, a pretty small list, so you may need to manually type it, which is what I'm going to do. And you can use the server name or you can use the IP address. So I'm going to use the IP address of my server. This is my NAS on my network. And we're going to go to 192.168.1.9 YouTube. Now this is just the file location that I have for a lot of my YouTube content. And then I'm gonna authenticate here with my username and password. Now you can keep this checked and it'll remember those credentials so you don't have to type them next time you wanna to connect to this or you can uncheck it if you wanna be a little more secure and have to type your username and password every time. So I'm gonna leave that checked and then hit add. It takes just a second. And then you can see that it puts an entry in here. And then once you click on it, it'll actually go and connect to that network share. So now we have access to all the files in that directory on my NAS. Now, if you wanna add another one, you can add multiples, do the same thing, come in here, services, SMB file share. So now I wanna to go to my personal one. So it's on the same server and you can connect the different servers this way as well. I'm just gonna authenticate again. I'm gonna leave that box checked, hit add. And now I have access to this that has, you know, some of my personal stuff on it. Um, so now you have access to this within your Chromebook. You can access any of these folders and you can, you know, copy files back and forth from your network share. Now, if you want to access these in Linux, if you're using the native Linux support, you can very easily come here and say, I want to access YouTube. I can right click on it and share with Linux. It's going to ask if I really want to hit OK. So now that folder is shared with Linux. So if we go into terminal and we just go to uh, MNT, Chrome OS, SMB, because that's the uh, file connections that we made. Then if we do an LS to get a list of the files in there, you can see this weird uh, name. That's actually the uh, drive that we shared with Linux. It doesn't show the share name for whatever reason. Um, it shows this alphanumeric code. So we're just gonna go into that. And then you can see that all the files that are available in there are the same ones that we have available in the uh, rest of the, the Chrome OS. So that's it. If you wanna get rid of the share, if you don't wanna share it with Linux anymore, you can come in, right click on this, go to manage Linux sharing, and just remove it from here. And now it is no longer shared. See that SMB directory is gone because we don't have any uh, Samba mounts that are shared with Linux. And that's it. You can copy and to and from that uh, network share. It works just as fast as on any other computer. And I use this all the time without any problem. That's all there is to it. If you like this kind of video, make sure you subscribe. I'm going to be doing short tutorial videos like this every Thursday with my longer form videos on Sunday. So make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you want to see more like this, thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one.